In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can convert a VMware virtual machine from the VMM library by using the virtual, the virtual conversion. So what we've already done is just copied across the VMDK file and also the VMX file associated with the virtual machine. Now, the VMX file is the equivalent of really the VMC file that we get in Hyper-V, stores all the hardware configuration, and the VMDK file that we get in VMware is the equivalent of the VHD file that we get within the Hyper-V product. So now that we've done all of this, the next thing we're going to do here is actually just convert this virtual machine to a Hyper-V virtual machine. So what we've got, we've highlighted the VMware virtual machine, Next thing we're going to do here is just convert this virtual machine. Browse through here, specify the fact that we're going to convert CAP01. Click OK. Click our next button. The virtual machine identity, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the fact that I'm going to be the owner. And all we'll do here is we'll just put in that this is a VMware V3.5 VM. And we're going to convert that across. So click our next button. In the case of the number of processors, I'm happy with that. That's actually come from the VMX file. I'm happy with the amount of RAM. Again, that's come from the VMX file. So we'll click our next button. What we're going to do here is we're just going to stick it on host 2. We're happy with that. We're going to stick it in the default location of e colon backslash VM, which was set up earlier on. We're going to connect it to our external network adapter. And in the case of the additional properties, I'll just leave the defaults and click Next. Next thing we're going to do here is to click Create. We'll start the virtual machine after deploying. Click our Create button. This will kick into the Jobs screen. And within the Jobs, we can see it actually doing the virtual to virtual conversion. Now, this will take a little while, so what we'll do here is we'll just pause the video while the conversion is occurring. Okay, the virtual machine is now converted across, so we'll just close down the Jobs window. Come back to our virtual machines tab, and as we can see, we now have CAP01 up and running. We just connect through to the virtual machine just to see what it's doing in the background. As we can see, we've got a Windows Server 2008 Standard Edition virtual machine. We'll just log into it. as we can see it's logging in it's done the conversion we've taken a version 3 virtual machine from VMware ESX 3.5 and we've converted that through to Hyper VR2 we can see it's working fine that will allow us to migrate from our legacy VMware environment so that's the end of the demonstration thanks very much